Hello, I'm Kate Chapman, and I'd like to talk about how I'd like to make changes in OpenStreetMap to create that free map of the entire world with more inclusive technology. Geographic information is powerful. It delineates boundaries, allows analysis for safer routes to school, serves as a discussion tool for communities, and is a way of describing our world. In some cases, geographic knowledge can save one's life. I believe everyone should have access to this information. OpenStreetMap was founded on the idea that most maps as we know it are not free. Some maps don't exist, are impossible to access, or it is not possible to use the data in surprising and innovative ways due to licenses. The goal of OpenStreetMap is simple, a free map of the entire world. To create that world, things need to be changed. OpenStreetMap today is at a crossroads. There are over 600,000 user accounts, but the majority of the contributors are male, educated, and white. This is far from matching the makeup of the world we are trying to make a free map of. I joined OpenStreetMap for a simple reason. My neighborhood was looked down upon by the adjoining areas. People said it had high crime, gangs, and was run down. What I saw was a place with 30 miles of trails, wonderfully wooded areas, and plenty of schools and playgrounds. I began mapping to show this area as I saw it. Soon I began helping others locally learn to get started themselves. At the time, though, I never thought it would begin as a simple self-advocacy attempt would be used to help others after a huge disaster. After the earthquake in Haiti in January 2010, a huge volunteer effort occurred to map the area around Port-au-Prince. In a matter of a few weeks, a very detailed map was created by a remote effort of 600 people. You can see the huge difference in this before and after image. My biggest contribution to this effort was creating videos to teach others how to get started mapping. I simplified the steps down to a few areas where individuals could really help. I think this needs to be done on a broader scale to create the free map that is OpenStreetMap's goal. A few months after the earthquake, myself and my colleagues at the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team began traveling to Haiti to help teach how to use the information there. This year in Indonesia, we've been taking a different approach and been mapping to prepare for disasters. Haiti and Indonesia are not at all similar countries, but the issues are similar. The first, I believe, is lack of culturally relevant maps. The second is a highly technical community within OpenStreetMap that cannot always distill the process of contributing to OpenStreetMap into a simple and easy method. Third, much of the data has been translated, but there's often use cases where you're still dealing with information that is in English because the base database schema is done in English. That's not to say that tools can't fix this problem. It just will require work. There have been multiple academic studies looking at the OpenStreetMap contributors. Without them, it would be difficult for me to ascertain the fairly homogeneous structure. Few of these studies aim to share results openly with the community or to foster change. I want to change this approach. My holistic approach to exploring the issues in geographic and gender discrepancies in OpenStreetMap would involve the communities that already exist, those we help hope to have join us, as well as looking at what other open source programs and systems we could learn from. Based on this analysis, I would want to then experiment with adapting tools, documentation, and communications methodologies. By careful measurement, I would look at the effects to see if I as an individual was fostering change and if I was inspiring others to help make this difference. Maps have long been the tool of an elite few. OpenStreetMap already has begun to disrupt this, but let's take it further. To create that free world map view, we need a more diverse world of contributors. Thank you.